Hello, Evelina Marley here again. Can talk about one of nostalgia critics. I believe it's called. I believe he calls them editorials, and I really quite enjoy most of them. In fact, I think one of my favorite editorials. Well, okay, I'll just say the one that he has out now is my current favorite. I like how he went into the whole superhero mythos thing. Okay. And the reason why is. One, I like how you just Well, okay, I'm not going to say it. I don't want to start off with one. Sorry. I know what happens when you start off with one and people start thinking you're going to say more. I'm pretty much stopping it here. One thing I really liked about his video, or one of the few things I liked about his videos, they are very well done. I like that. It's the production, the way it looks, everything is just amazing. I liked what he said in this current editorial that he made. Okay, just like I enjoyed his uh, Romeo and Juliet editorial uh, of how he explained how if Romeo and Juliet had had time to get to know each other, they may have just grown apart. You know, I agree with people on that whole thing. That if children are allowed to m make some of their own decisions. I mean, I know we tend to think kids are really stupid nowadays. I'm one of the few who feel like, mm, yes, children are stupid, but they are not that stupid. They can make decisions, and as long as they are well informed, and, or at least allowed to figure out figure it out on their own, they probably come to their own conclusions and realize. Duh, that was stupid. Huh? Just like, uh, we're not talking about, like, drunk driving or anything. We're just talking about love between someone who's their age, as usually. Anyways. I like the superhero one because he was basically discussing about uh, how our superheroes whiny little bitches uh, which, frankly, I go, when I think about it, even with the, well, yeah, even with Captain Planet, uh, damn straight, yeah, with and without Captain Planet, superheroes be bitches, okay, they are whiny little bitches, I can't help it, can't help it. But in fact, that is kind of the reason why we do like them. At least that's how I like them. One, I think it's unfair to ask men in the certain situations we're in, in our society, to constantly pretend like, nothing hurts me, ha 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 ha, and that's not, sorry, I gotta tilt the camera just a little. It's not fair to ask them to be all thick-skinned and super strong. Uh, so, yeah, I do think superheroes need to have some vulnerability. However, I don't feel movies like Batman or... And I haven't seen any of the new Batman movies, so don't ask. That's why, or, you know... When you start getting on your keyboards and judging me. Hey. I don't think it's really fair to ask them to always say the day. I couldn't imagine me having to say the day. If anything, I'd be like what I want to call myself. A reluctant hero. I would probably wait till someone truly and honestly needed me to say the day. Like, there is no hope. I am the bottom of the barrel. There are no superheroes. Captain America has called it 
field day. It is called a day off because he just can't take the heat anymore. That is how bad. Um, that that's just me. I don't feel like saving someone's life is something that you can add to my ego. Okay, it just isn't my place to do that. Hi. Um, there are a few other things he mentioned, but I don't want to go into it too much. If you want to watch his video. Uh, it's down in the description, and you can watch a uh, number of his videos. He's usually on Blip TV hey, nowadays. <laughs> uh, another thing I would like to discuss. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, please follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and check out my fanfiction WordPress blog. Uh, this is Evelino Malak. Sign. Mean out. Bye.